Let's see. Well, I just got back from doing the Wendy's Hot Honey Chicken Review. Hope you enjoyed that review. If you did not see it, go watch that first and then watch this. This is, you know, this is, this is continuation. It's the episode. You got to binge these things. So after having that, I mean, it was, it definitely was spicy and it kind of dried out my mouth a little bit. So I'm feeling a little, uh, I don't know, thirsty. Hi, my name is Gabriel Manic. I'm an actor and I'm thirsty. Welcome back to another episode of Thirsty Actor Beer Reviews. Today, I'm on my last can of beers that I brought from Jersey and then something that I had here already in Georgia before I went to Jersey. Uh, I think it's only appropriate because coincidentally today, which is actually Friday, I saw Brian the Beer Snob review this beer and I'm like, that, what a coincidence. Like, it's the last beer that, the last beer that I have to review. So in case you haven't watched his episode, go watch it. I only watched the first 20 seconds because I didn't want to hear his review and then let it affect mine. So I want to go fresh and then we'll see, we'll compare after. But it's the Naked River Brewing Company's Moon Pie Chocolate Moon Pie Stout, which, I mean, that's that's exciting. I mean, a moon pie, a moon pie in a can, in beer form, that, that sounds amazing. I mean, it's what, 8.5%? Pretty sure it's 8.5. But I got a bonus review because I found this at Kroger. It's a banana moon pie. So that's chocolate, banana, chocolate, and banana. I mean, come on. So that's gonna be a bonus review. That's very exciting. So, I mean, the fact that when I saw this at the store, when I saw this at Kroger, I'm like, what? What am I looking at right now? And somebody next to me was like, yeah, it's a beer on, a, on an end cap in Kroger. <laughs> What a weirdo. And then uh, I told him to go home. Wow, man, already. See, that's, that's the great thing about some of these beers is when you can get a great whiff already from it without even doing this, that, that's a good sign. Oh, that smells so good. Let's take a look. Pouring it into my Monday night blind pirate blunt orange glass. That's looking good. Spilled a little on my finger. Does that count? Doesn't count. It's not a sip, it's a lick. Wow, and those licks are <laughs> damn good. That's really good. Well, first sip's the one that counts when you're thirsty. Oh man, this is dessert in a glass. There's a mosquito flying around me because he can smell the sugar. He can smell the moon pie. Guys, this is phenomenal. I should have mentioned Naked River Brewing Company. They're out of Chattanooga, Tennessee, which I love Chattanooga. Great place. This, I hope they keep this year round or at least they make it once a year because this, this is so good. Oh my God. I mean, that doesn't, it doesn't taste or even have the feel of a beer that's 8.5. Like it's either eight or 8.5. It's so smooth. It's so smooth and it's not overly sh uh, sweet or anything like that or thick. Like it's, it's really nice. It kind of drinks like a Guinness. I'd say it drinks like a Guinness. And just from the aroma, I mean, you're getting chocolate, you're getting vanilla, you're getting love oh yeah baby <laughs> hmm. it just drinks so easily so easily this not gonna lie i mean 60 16 ounces of this is probably perfect but i think i would go to two especially like i mean today it's not too it's been kind of like a warmer day like in the 80s but right now as it's cooling down this is this is perfect this is really, really good. Brian, I'm curious what you what you gave it. 
Uh, I don't even know if you scored. I, I have no idea. I have to check out more of your videos. If you haven't checked out Brian the Beer Snob and you are a beer snob yourself, definitely go check out his stuff. Uh, he's doing very well on there. He's he's making content at almost daily as well. So <laughs> cheers to you, Brian. I just, I don't want this to end. That is so good. And the moon pie has been around since 1917. So, I mean, the banana, I mean, who we can agree. I mean, it's chocolate and then banana flavor and then whatever other ones they have. And this is a double decker. Okay, let's do this so that then I can do this. So this moon pie, chocolate moon pie stout by Naked River Company, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Man, this is glorious. Wow. I don't remember how many stouts I've done so far. But this one, it's gonna get a 9.6. 9.6, cheers. That didn't really really clink because I think the, the phone would fall off. But 9.6 for that, that was, that was phenomenal. Okay, so now we got, the, we got the moon pie. Let's try to get this so that it doesn't crack or anything like that. Oh man, look at that. Look at that beauty. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, I guess since I'm going to be reviewing this, I might as well say first bite's the one that counts when um, you're flipping out over a moon pie. Wow, this must have been made a bit ago because it says it's, I guess, expires June 20th of this year, but still preserved very well. Mm. Again, not overly sweet. Mm. I love it. You're bringing back memories. Look at that. Mm. I have an idea. So I'm going to pour the rest of that into the glass. So the banana moon pie, on its own, I mean, it's a great moon pie. Um, I'm going to give it a 9.6 too. It's moon pie in the glass, moon pie in my hand, 9.6. Now, I am going to be daring. So we got this. Hopefully it works. No. How do I do this? I'm a man. Okay. Take two. I'm gonna take this and dunk it in the beer. Look at that. Ooh, it's fizzling. I have no idea what this is gonna be like. It's so interesting. Like the first bite after it's been dunked, really cool um, flavor. It starts to fizzle like in your mouth. And then it's like, hmm, I don't know, that's a weird flavor. But then once it calms down, then it's like the sweetness comes in. It's like, whoa, that's good. So this, they're better on their own, but this still is kind of interesting. Definitely try it. 1023 at the time was on the clock. My birthday, weird timing. Um, I'm gonna give this combo, mm, I give it an eight nine because that one little part that was a little weird i was like mm, i don't really like this but then after it was like oh, okay that's actually pretty good definitely worth trying so thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button i can't believe i'm saying that now i'm like I'm, I'm like a youtuber now huh hit that subscribe button comments let me know how you like this uh, if you try it yourself if you plan on trying it if you have another beer or or, or food that you want to recommend leave it in the comments and i will get to it so so many subs. I'll see you on the next review.